definition necrosis of left, uh, lateral cartilage is known as better and the etiology etiology you know foreign type of wound or any type of abscess etiology is when any infection getting entry to the cartilage then it will uh, leads to this wound and this uh, necrosis of cartilage and trade injury trade injury, trade injury means injury due to walk whenever animal will have uh, injury during walking also then these type of things also causes this better uh, necrosis of skin in the pastern area definitely when animal will put uh, his leg in con uh, constantly in mud or any dirty places then this is also an etiology and this is the uh, suppose uh, animal is having sand crack penetrating wound in the foot and these are the some uh, exciting causes for this twitter so causes is uh, etiology is very simple no need to uh, you see if you will notice swelling here in this region coronary region this is a indicative of this twitter this necrosis of lateral cartilage cartilage then necrosis of lateral cartilage just you remember this place one coronary region then symptom symptom you know what is the symptom of sinus any wound will sinus will uh, open on the outer side and then uh, necrosis when you will touch pain will be there complication in there if it uh, this infection will enter in the uh, joint coronopedal joint then septic arthritis may be there and sometimes chances of this um, acanth acanth don't eat during class please don't Sorry, eat sir. during 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 class necrosis of odd aspedis necrosis of sensitive lamina or plantar surface sometimes gangrene may be noticed and these are the complications you know very well these are the complications of wound also if any wound is there near this uh, aspedis or near any bone then necrosis of that particular bone will be noticed sometimes if treatment is not done in proper time then gangrene automatically gangrene will develop will develop you know you swelling you see swelling here these are the coronary reason so this type of swelling is clear cut indicative of this twitter animal we used to keep the foot little bit upward definitely this is sign of pain then treatment treatment is just like treatment of a wound first of all any sign if any sinus tract tract is there then what will be our first line of treatment first of all we you will irrigate that particular sinus tract with antiseptic solutions or lotions to remove pus and necrotic tissue then only it is possible to start healing so first of all for any abscess for any necrotic wound or for any for any gang gangrenous wound our aim should be to irrigate that particular region by this any antiseptic solution or normal saline solution to remove pus and this necrotic lesions and then these are the different type of solutions mentioned in the uh, book literature but most important thing is if you are using this silver nitrate already i have discussed silver nitrate in powdered form and you will introduce that particular silver nitrate powder in the that particular sinus tract then this process is known as scoring and this is best way to treat any sinus this is best way to treat any sinus for the yearly healing so try to use this silver nitrate powder for any type of sinus tract healing then uh, necrotic tissue we already have discussed then what uh, sometimes people used to put red hot iron over that particular sinus opening but this is painful but if nerve block is there if you are uh, neurectomy is there right even nerve block is there palmar palmar distal nerve block lateral or medial then you can apply that red red hot iron this is the best way to destroy whole sinus tract and start to start this uh, healing of that particular wound you can insert some uh, gauze that is known as ceton in the uh, in that sinus tract for healing 
and this is a normal principle for any sinus tract healing any sinus healing sinus or fistula aap log padhe honge usme if any mm, uh, cart necrosis cartilage necrosis of cartilage is not is, is noticed then you can operate that particular region under general anesthesia and you will excise that particular lateral uh, dead cartilage or you can say gang uh, necrosed cartilage from that region then only healing will uh, start so these are the general principle uh, for the treatment this is not new i think this is just like uh, for the normal wound healing and normal uh, sinus tract healing next one is side wounds just you try to differentiate the definition of side wounds and fitter side wound is ossification of lateral cartilage of the foot here ossification means extra growth of bone is there this is known as ossification but in case of but in case of fitter that is necrosis of lateral cartilage so these are the this is the difference between the definition of this side bone see bone is there means extra bone is there means ossification of lateral cartilage and fitter is necrosis of asis uh, ranjan keep your video on please mai sab dekh raha hu ossification of yes, lateral sir. cartilage is most common commonly seen in four feet so sometimes in examination people used to call, uh, ask that this ossification this side bones is most commonly seen in hind uh, hind leg limbs or fore limb so please remember this thing this is um, uh, side bones and this extra bone uh, growth of extra bone is sometimes related to ring bone also ring bone you know ring bone is phalanx ke beech mein agar ossification hua that is known as true ring bone if phalanx pe hua uski body pe hua then that is known as false ring bone so sometimes this condition is also related to this ring bone also this is uh, rarefying osteitis osteitis is inflammation of bone and any extra growth is known as ossification so this type of growth you will notice when this is uh, when you will examine an extra growth of bone will be noticed clearly etiology this is uh, hereditary in nature side bones is hereditary in nature and uh, another etiology is bad conformation defective swing swing already i have discussed that farriers play important role in the lameness uh, lameness of the pass confusion if regular confusion in in that particular area then automatically uh, ossification and growth of bone is there if direct injury to cartilage this is also result to uh, resulting in inflammation and subsequent invasion of cartilage with osteoblasts blasts which ultimately leads to growth of new bones so these are the etiology for this side bone symptom already i have sometimes uh, symptoms is sometimes lameness may be there or sometimes lameness may not may not be present so don't think that uh, if lameness is not present then no uh, definitely if lameness is not there then owner not going to come to you that you treat my patient so uh, if pain no, no pain is there then no need to give these nasides and all the things whatever pain uh, whatever therapy you Are using for this pain. So, and this is good open foot. Good open foot means foot is symmetrical. And in the in this particular case, if lameness is not there and foot is symmetrical, then animal will follow. Will go for the slow uh, slow work. But if you will put that particular animal for hard work, then it will start. It will show pain. so don't think that that if animal is not in pain then it is not um, it is not having this side bones diagnosis by palpation ossification you can easily palpate and you can say by x ray also x ray by x ray also you can have an idea about the uh, gyan prakash gyan prakash don't be smart 
पहले तो आप लोग बात थोड़ा माना करिए एक बार मैं बोला हूँ कि आप वीडियो ऑन करके रखिए तो आप बीच बीच में ट्वीट मत किया करिए मैं सब देख रहा हूँ मैं मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट इज डिजिटल न्यूरोक्टोमी और नर्व ब्लॉक एंड दिस इज मीडियल एंड लेटरल फॉर्मर नर्व ब्लॉक which is recommended for the patients of having these side wounds if animal is having pain and by palpation you think that this particular animal is having side wounds then you go for this medial and lateral plantar nerve block then after putting this uh, nerve block animal pain is abolished so this is a best diagnostic tool for the diagnosis also and for the treatment also so this medial and lateral palmar nerve block is important for the side wounds and one special foot uh, uh, this shoe shoe is showing is also important i have already already discussed so flat wide wear shoe is recommended for this type of condition for side wound and if you think that there is extra growth of this cartilage then you can cut surgically and you can remove that extra portion these are the treatment recommended for this side bones now last last one is this is navicular disease and navicular disease is a chronic osteoarthritis of excuse me sir sir abhi puchu ya thoda baad mein sir topic finish hone ke baad abhi baad mein abhi baad mein puchega abhi baad mein puchega thank you sir navicular disease is chronic osteoarthritis of this navicular bone and you know what is the exact location of navicular bone with navicular bursitis means navicular inflammation chronic osteoarthritis of navicular bone and with inflammation of this navicular bursa of the plantar aponeurosis abhi location hum dikhayenge exact location you will see in next diagram so incident this is more commonly noticed in light horses and also age is also related this is uh, most commonly seen in horses above 7 years old young horses donkey and mules are only rarely affected this is important and this condition is also most commonly seen in four feet only so you see this is navicular bone and this is navicular bursa so this condition is related to here one this condition proximal this is first phalanx middle phalanx and distal phalanx patella pastern and coffin this is location of this is deep digital flexor this is navicular bone and this is navicular bursa so you can palpate for this condition you can palpate from this plantar surface this from this region and if pain is there it means that this particular animal is having some uh, navicular bursitis or any inflammation in navicular bone etiology effective sign no need to discuss in detail because this is also uh, you know hereditary abnormal conformation of foot upright and narrow foot contracted foot these are the this is this these points we have to remember defective sign excessive slapping pattern pastern and long toe if foot is deformed long toe is there then that particular uh, uh, animal is predisposed to this type of condition so excessive sloping pastern and long toe is a predisposing factor for this navicular disease severe and repeated con confusion definitely it will be there pathology what happens for the uh, in these conditions this is inflammation of navicular bone and plantar infant inflammation will occur exostosis may develop extra growth of that bone is noticed and if extra growth growth will be there then what will happen friction of exostosis estosis on the flexor tendon it may place the flexor tendon and due to these sprain may be noticed in this flexor tendon 
and this is strain of the tendon may sometimes develop adhesion between tendon and bone and these adhesions is responsible for this pain and for this navicular bursitis and navicular disease so inflammation hoga uske baad growth hoga jab inflammation hoga to uske baad kya hoga exostosis flexor tendon ko press karega uski wajah se sprain ho sakta hai tendon mein and adhesions bhi develop ho sakta hai tendon and bone mein and then it leads to sometimes fracture of uh, navicular bone also and this fracture will causes pain definitely fracture is there pain is there symptom this is important pointing of the foot at rest this is a common symptoms in this navicular disease in initial stage lameness is intermittent and animal goes without lameness after period of rest most important thing is gait gait may be pottery stilted or groggy gait this is important ye aata hai exam mein groggy gait and shuffling gait in examination people used to ask about this gait groggy gait or shuffling gait is noticed in which of the following conditions then you remember navicular disease then one important thing is when animal is turned jab aap animal ko ghumayenge to kya hota hai normally animal will lift the limb and then lift karne ke baad wo hatta hai but in this case animal will follow a swing pattern yani wahi rakhega aur wahi apne pair ko mudega so these are the differentiating uh, dd differential diagnosis from other cases if animal is not able to lift his or her limb if screw pattern is noticed wahi pe mudta hai then it clearly shows that this is having navicular disease sickly foot become boxy means this is contracted and high at the heels and very concave at the soles this is boxy ye pucha aata hai boxy foot become boxy ye navicular disease mein hi hota hai chronic conditions mein kya hota hai atrophy of frog bulging of the hollow heels due to enlargement of navicular bursa ye common cheez hai ye aapko yaad karna padega diagnosis from the symptoms digital nerve blocks and radiography digital nerve block and radiography is the diagnostic tools pain feel kariye us region mein is region mein aap trace kariye if pain is there then this is also indicative of this condition in this region prognosis is unfavorable because you cannot go for any type of surgery here so if animal is having this navicular disease then prognosis of that particular animal is unfavorable 